Hi, this is Marc Dubois from Haro Tech. This video is the eighth video in the Haro 3D video series. For background information about the 3D visualization Haro 3D library for LiveView, go to harotech.com or go see the 3D vision group at ni.com. This video presents how to use LiveView user events to improve acquisition rates when using clouds of points from the Microsoft Kinect. One characteristic of the Haro 3D library is that it provides a LiveView interface to acquire colored clouds of points from the Kinect. 3D clouds of points require a lot of processing, and one common request has been to acquire those clouds of points faster. Let's look at the performance of the Haro 3D library version 1.2. Going to the Help menu, find Examples, select Directory Structure, Go to Harotech, Haro 3D Examples, and finally Connect to Cloud Example. Let's run the example. We can see that the acquisition rate is hovering between 21 and 24 Hertz for the lowest resolution, 480 by 270 pixels. Let's stop this VI. Let's increase the resolution of the cloud by going to the block diagram. Now for the 960 by 540 resolution, the acquisition rate is between 6 and 8 Hertz. Let's stop this VI and close it. Now, let's open the cloud example of the Haro 3D library version 1.3. Notice two differences on the front panel. The size of the cloud of points can be selected from the user interface, and the 3D display of the data can be stopped. When running with the minimum resolution, the rate of the cloud acquisition with the Haro 3D version 1.3 hovers between 25 and 28 Hz. When stopping the display of the 3D data, acquisition rate is around 30 Hz, corresponding to the maximum acquisition rate of the Kinect. With the higher resolution of 960 by 540 pixels, the acquisition rate drops to 9 Hz. And climbs to 14, 15 Hz when stopping the data display. That is that the cloud size parameter corresponds to the number of pixels of the color camera of the Kinect. Considering that the depth sensor has 512 by 424 elements, the 480 by 270 size is undersampled by about a factor of 2, and the 960 by 540 size is oversampled by about a factor of 2. Therefore, there is no benefit to use the 1920 by 1080 cloud size. Let's take a look at the block diagram. The original design of the Cloud Example VI is linear. The acquisition is initialized using the Haro 3D Cloud API. The Cloud API, in the timeout case of an event structure within a while loop, acquires the data. The data is then processed and displayed. Display and rate are updated only if the acquisition is successful. The performance improvement in the Cloud Example VI between version 1.2 and 1.3 is due to the DLL that was configured to run in any thread instead of running in the UI thread. This change in configuration begs to explore a more parallel processing approach. An additional Cloud Example VI based on user events was developed and is part of version 1.3 of the Haro 3D library. The front panel is very similar to the one of the first Cloud Example VI. When running the new Cloud Example VI at the lowest resolution, the acquisition rate is around 30 Hz, with the data processing and display on. Turning off the display has little to no impact on the acquisition rate. At the 960 by 540 resolution, the acquisition rate oscillates between 12 and 14 Hz. Data processing and display have little impact on the acquisition rate. 
when off, the acquisition rate increases only to 14 to 15 Hertz. When looking at the block diagram of this new example VI, we can now see two loops, one for data processing and one for data acquisition. A new command is introduced for the Cloud API, Acquisition User Event. This command initiates an acquisition, but the data is not returned by the DLL. Instead, the DLL sends the data directly to the other loop through a user event. Here, two user events are configured. The first one is configured with the Cloud Data Cluster. The event reference is passed to the Cloud API and registered for the data processing loop. Cloud data are received directly in the corresponding event case of the data processing loop. The second user event is configured with a simple Boolean. Let's call it the acquisition user event. This user event is registered to the event structure of the data acquisition loop. Its reference is passed to the data processing loop. The acquisition user event is fired in parallel with the data processing. It is used to prevent an accumulation of cloud data in the user event buffer. The acquisition user event could be replaced by a queue. The benefit of the event structure is that a simple event case for the stop button is used to terminate the loop. As usual, if you have any question concerning this video or any other topic, you can reach me at arrowtech.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.